guys. Uh, good evening if evening and good morning if morning. Again, please subscribe and click the bell. I made this tutorial because of the request of one of my subscriber regarding optocoupler and how it works and tests. I will teach you how the function and what it's used. The optocoupler is look like a rewinding transformer that I have here. Okay. I'm not saying they have this, uh, the same function but they have a similarities for how they works. The transformer has, has an input and output like optocoupler even the primary and secondary output are not connected to each other the input can deliver current of electricity to output when you plug in why because of magnetic wire that rewind from core and the pieces of metal around it there is an isolation happening between input and output so once you supply the current for input the output will get electricity from input because of magnetic wire that they use it and the metal around it. That's how the uh, transformer work. Even they are not connected to each other, the input will supply current to output cause of the signal came from input. Same thing of how optocoupler works. I will explain to you how the optocoupler works. I will show you the diagram. This is the diagram of opto optocoupler. Right here. The optocoupler has a built-in LED. And it has also photo transistor inside. Okay. This photo transistor is a switching type of transistor. He's functioning by switching and normally open. That's why they call it normally open because of this base. This base is always open. If you still remember, I was teach you how to test switching transistor. That is the same function of this photo transistor because this is also switching. Now, how it works. If you notice on this diagram, no more wire connected to each other there's no more wire if you can see but you can see the arrows between them okay the meaning of these arrows once this LED lighting up these arrows is like signal light and when the photo transistor catch it he can produce voltage and the photo transistor will work because of the light that drag from LED. That's the optocoupler works. So once you supply electricity to LED right here and light up, the photo transistor will catch it. He is like a man with eyes. That's why they call it opto. I get that word from optic or optical which is about the eyes of man. So this photo transistor has eyes and once he sees light from LED from here, he can catch it. And when he catch it, he can produce voltage over here. Even we have supply, but the photo transistor can't catch any light from here, he will not working. What Ever you do decide he will not working until he cuts any lights from LED so that's how optocouplers work before I forgot we have four different types of optocoupler right here okay one of using today this photo transistor has six pin but I just use four pins today I gotta use four pins today. I will show you that later. This is a photo SER. We have photo Darlington here. We have photo Triac. This uh, photo SER has added sensitivity, so this is more active than than this. 
because it's more sensitive meaning even not enough light came from LED he will functioning right away okay, this one is functioning right away even the uh, the lights from here is not enough it's one is they made the uh, sense sensitivity so that's why it's very easy for him to function this other two they have different kinds of light which was made sensitive so the lights from here they made sensitive unlike this one they made photo transistor more sensitive but these two more sensitive the lights they made more sensitive the lights these are the four kinds of optocoupler works so uh, these are the four kinds of optocoupler and I don't know if there is more like this so I made my own diagram for what you see here now I will replace this one so this is the diagram that I made today so there's a 9 volt supply there's a switch there's one uh, kilo ohms uh, resistor and I use a PC123 uh, optocoupler with a four pins. There's an LED. I put an LED in here. I put the same value of resistor because I, I also supply nine volts for this side. And this is the ground. I know that uh, some of you are not familiar for this. I will compare this in actual parts so that understand clearly for what these symbols are okay so this is the uh, the parts that i made today they are connected to each other so if if we can compare this diagram for this actual parts this one is the supply line nine volts this one is switch just right here and that one is uh, 1k value resistor right here and this is the optocoupler with four fins right here and there's a LED or light emitting diode right there and another 1000 kilo ohms resistor right here and another supply for nine volts right here so now you already know exactly the actual and the uh, symbol okay by the way if you notice i add the capacitor some diodes here because i i got the uh easy uh, adapter instead there is a nine volts AZ, so I didn't get any uh, any DZ. I got one, but uh, I have only one. So uh, when I uh, try to check another one, I got this, which is uh, nine volts AZ. That's why I made him a DZ output. So this kind of uh, connection is just a bridge type uh, diode and then capacitor so we have a single we have a dual and this one is a bridge type uh, now i will show you the function of a uh, optocoupler which is this one with four pins so uh once i plug this one it's supposed to be this ld will turning on or light up because there's a negative a negative and positive supply here right but I will show you why it's not light up so let's plug in this is my outlet okay let's plug in this one just this one first okay sorry and then we're going to turn this switch see there's no lights come up in here okay this LED not lighting up even I switch on 
and even there's a supply voltage here doesn't come on so why is he's not lighting up this is not lighting up it's because there's no supply comes from here so once that there's no lights from here uh, the optocoupler inside here are not catching light this is not lighting up this one work nothing and not produce any voltage here let's plug the other one so this is the other one so we're going to turn off this one for now okay then we're going to switch on see that see the light there's a light right so this one has a supply now and the LED inside here in the optocoupler light up and the uh, photo transistor inside here catch up that light that's why they close the transistor and function this side so let's try again I will turn up again okay I will uh, remove this one and also this one okay so I will repeat again okay I will show you the uh, the diagram for this so that you can understand why so this is the diagram of optocopter you can see there's a two pins in here three and four and another two here right so there's a supply voltage here and the other one here right you can see here there's a supply here here right and another supply here it's almost close to each other right but it's because this one is open and he didn't catch the lights from here that's why he didn't function because he didn't close this part once that they close the base then this current will function what happened was even you so even you plug this one okay the uh, you know the current the current of this is just come in inside here and just go straight to the ground so this is the clear one yeah it's just going like that every time you put the uh, voltage here they just go all the way to the ground why it's because this uh photo transistor is not functioning because he didn't catch the uh, the lights from here that's why he didn't function but once that to supply the voltage from here then the led will uh, light up once that the photo transistor catch it then they will produce the voltage from here and it will function then the led will light up so i will show you again i already uh, plugged this one then i will plug the supply from here so i will show you how this optocoupler function once that i switch this on the led inside here will light up and once that he light up auto transistor will catch it and then he will produce voltage so once that he produce voltage the uh, photo transistor will close and the current from here will function the negative and positive will function okay let's see i will switch on this one see 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 the lights so that's how the uh, the optocoupler works even you 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 put any uh, supply here but 
the uh, photo transistor didn't catch any lights from LED inside this optocoupler it will become useless the unit from here will not function unless the uh, photo transistor will work but the photo transistor will work once that he cuts the lights from LED but the LED is not lighting up if there's no supply voltage from here so uh, once that you supply the voltage from here LED will turn it on and then once that it light up the uh, photo transistor will catch it and the photo transistor will produce voltage so once that the photo transistor will produce voltage then the uh, the side from this uh, optocoupler will function that's how the optocoupler works it's like a relay it's close to a transformer with no connection the wire not connected to each other but they can produce voltage once the input has a voltage there is an isolation for both sides even the transformer and the optocoupler there is the isolation happening that's why you can catch any bolts once they see something or they see lights from LED that's what the optocoupler works it's a simple parts but it's very special hopefully uh, you uh, you learn uh, for, for this day and I hope you can uh, continue to study about this kind of parts and if you have time just subscribe and click this bell so that you are always up updated so see you next video guys and uh, have a good day